Welcome back to business. I didn't even each into travel. Finally, we have some good news for you. I'm sure you are aware that the Kotoka International Airport will resume operations after six months shutdown, and that is actually tomorrow. But how ready are the airlines? Well, at least this is what we know for now. So we go over and see how the schedules look like. Uh, for airlines that are starting operations from tomorrow if you can go and then have a look at those airlines that are ready for takeoff from tomorrow um do we have them yes so that's it there we go the flight schedules uh, portugal air is supposed to resume on the 2nd of september ethiopian airlines 3rd of september turkish airlines 4th september british airways 5th emirates will begin on the 6th Air France on the 7th and then KLM will begin on the 8th of September. So this is what we know so far. Joining us for more on this is Ernestina Abrakwa, Managing Director of Latina Travel and Tours. And to have more discussion, good evening and grateful for your time, ma'am. Good evening and thank you for having me. All right, Latina, fi Nestina, finally we have some good news, uh, good for business because business will certainly be back up. But how many flights have communicated their schedules to you? Um, almost about 10 airlines so far. 10 airlines and how many are starting from tomorrow because we know tomorrow the airports um, the Kotoka International Airport will resume operation. So do we know how many flights, at least from what we've just seen, we know that um, Portugal Airline is starting tomorrow. Is that the only airline that is starting tomorrow? Yes, as at now, that's the information we have. Um, there may be others that may have confirmed, but I may not have no. I may not know about them already. Mm, so why I may not know about that? Why are you picking this information from? I know you are travel and tour agents, and so you have a platform that updates you on the operations. Is that the case? Well, I took it upon myself to inquire from the various airlines. I've been giving them a lot of trouble, asking them when, because I also have a network of customers that I need to inform and keep them updated. So that's how come I get all this information. So what we showed is confirmed flights from the 2nd of September, right? Starting with Portugal Airline. Hello, Nestina, can the you hear me? It's not so good. Can you hear me now? I'm asking, so what no. we just showed, starting with Portugal Airlines, are the confirmed the airlines that will start operating from tomorrow, operations from tomorrow. Looks like, and Estina, can you hear me? Yes, yeah, so like I said, the various airlines, um, I didn't get that, but um, the airlines um, offices, I believe most of them will be open tomorrow for those who want to walk in and check um, about some, some have pre existing flight schedules. Um, sorry, some have tickets already that immediately they would want to go and see the airlines and see how they can put them on. I know, for instance, Ethiopian Airlines have uh, come out with the flights, uh, people who have flights between um, set, uh, between now and December. If you want to change your flight, if you had bought a ticket already and you want to change your flight, you can um, contact them and you can get your ticket re uh, reissued for free. And I believe other airlines will come up with such similar policies. So that is what is going on now. And Estina, we know that at least government has laid out some rules, strict, and then, I mean, properly, clearly, uh, indications that they will be taking safety precautions and safety seriously at the Kotoka International Airport. I'm interested in people who will be traveling out of Ghana. These airlines that have shown interest in flying from the 2nd of September, do we have clear-cut rules and then also issues with safety laid out, uh, communicated to you to be able to um, advise your, your clients accordingly? Absolutely. So um, for passengers arriving, there are protocol, safety protocols that um, um, our, our aviation, our civil aviation has laid out. That's the airport, Ghana Airport Company. And then also for everyone's final, everyone traveling to uh, their destinations, 
they also, the final destinations to have laid down their safety protocols. So I'm sure you've heard about the P PCR test. Right. Um, I know I know in Ghana, uh, for every test, it's $150. I know in Nigeria, it's $130. I believe in the sub-region, it's within $150, $130. So you must have that at the back of your mind um, when you are buying when you're purchasing your tickets or you're planning your holidays to have extra money to pay for that. As to whether it will be part of the tickets before you go, mm. before you board, we don't know whether it will be part of the ticket so that people don't get to the airport and they cannot All find right. money to pay. I don't know how the airlines are going to do it. All right, Ernestine, I want to say a big thank you uh, for that update.